The circle is circumscribed about a square. If a dart is thrown at the circle, what is the probability that it lands in the circle but outside the square? So we want to know what the probability is of landing in the gray area, right? We said in the circle but outside the square. That's all the gray areas. So that's the probability. Not, they're not asking for the area of that part. They're asking for the probability of landing on that part. So then we have to make sure we're going to do the part over the whole. So first, I have to find the area of that gray area because that's my desired outcome. That's my part, right? The desired outcome is the area of the gray over the whole thing, which would be the area of the circle because that's the whole thing, right? Okay, so then my part is going to be, again, area of gray over the area of the circle. Area of gray over area of circle. So to find the area of the gray region, we have to first find the area of the circle and subtract the area of the square, right? So um, area of the gray is going to be the circle minus the square. So the circle, let's see, um, the area of the circle is pi r squared, r squared minus the area of this is going to be side squared, right? So we know the radius is 10 because from the center of the circle to the point on the circle, that's pi 10 squared. Minus, do we know what the side is? We actually don't, right? Because this is uh, from the center to the, the vertex of a square. So let me make a right triangle. I know that this angle right here, let me just draw the triangle out again. Ooh, that doesn't look. Okay, this is more accurate. So this is that triangle here. This is 10. And I want to know um, either this or this. So let's say that we're going to call that x. Now this is a right angle. We know that this is a 45, 45 degree angle because it's half the square, right? Squares, everything is regular. So to find a 45, or the other sides of a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, since we know it's a special right triangle, we're going to use that shortcut. If this is n, then this is n, and this is n root 2. And in this case, I should label this n because that's the side opposite the 45, which is n. The side opposite this 45 is n, and then the side opposite the 90 is 10. So here's the shortcut. I'm given the 90 degree side, which is this right here. So I'm going to make those equal to each other because this is n, and this is n root 2, which is 10. So n root 2 equals 10. Divide the root 2 to both sides. So I'm going to solve for n. n equals 10 over root 2. What do I do here? Well, this, is, this um, square root is in the denominator, right? So I have to rationalize it. Okay, let's do that. This becomes 10 root 2 over 2. Simplify this out. This becomes 5 root 2. So again, what did I do? I took this because I have this right here, the hypotenuse of this right triangle. I, I want to find this side right here. I'm going to use special right triangles, a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. N, N. 
the side opposite the 90 is n root 2. That's the side that I'm given. So I'm going to make that equal to n root 2. n root 2 equals 10. Solve for n by dividing the root 2. You rationalize the denominator because I want to get, I don't want, I can't have a radical in the denominator, right? So then this becomes 10 root 2 over root 2 times root 2 is just 2. Okay, simplify that out, I get 5 root 2. That means n is 5 root 2. This side is 5 root 2. This side is 5 root 2. Okay. Well, if this is 5 root 2, then what's this whole thing? We labeled that as s, right? So if this is 5 root 2, then this is 5 root 2. So we basically have to just multiply by 2, right? Because this is, this is half of this whole side. So my side is 5 root 2 times 2, which is 10 root 2. So I'm going to do, to find the area of the square, I'm going to do 10 root 2 times 10 root 2, right? Face times height or side squared. 10 root 2 squared. And then I'm going to use my calculator. So this is uh, 3.14 times 100, which is 314, minus 10 root 2 times 10 root 2 is 100 times 2. That's 200. Okay. If you want, you can just double check on your calculator. This right here is, let me just show you real quick. 10 root 2 times 10 root 2. 10 times 10 is 100. Root 2 times root 2 is times 2. So it's 100 times 2, which is 200. Then this is going to be 114. So the area of the gray is 114 because I took the area of the circle, which was um, pi r squared, 314. And then I found the area of the square, which is um, 200, 10 root 2 times 10 root 2, and then got 114. Now, I need to take, remember, that's, um, so if, that's just the area of the gray. We're looking for a probability that it lands in the gray. So, area of the gray over the area of the whole thing, which is a circle. You take 114, over the area of a circle, where's the area of the circle, which is uh, um, 314, okay? And that's the probability. Now, we know that both of these numbers are even, so I can simplify it, right? So then, if you were to cut this in half, this is gonna be 57. If you cut this in half, this is gonna be 157. And that would be the probability, 57 over 157, okay? So again, uh, probability is going to be area of the gray over the area of the whole thing, which is a circle.